Hello, Facebook. Hi, 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 Facebook friends. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. So excited. So excited. Hey, 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 cha cha. Hi, Tanya. Tanya Marie. I like that name, Tanya Marie. It's my girlfriend's daughter's name, Tanya Marie. Hi, Vernissa. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are y'all? Are you excited? I'm excited. I got a brand new foundation. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to get me centered up here. Okay. Hello, Miss Bella. First thing I want to show you before we get started is my new coffee cup. Check this out. Look at that. I know it's backwards. It says Glamma Tayang Gorgeous G A R G E A U S and Glamorous to be called Grandma. How about that? Do you know what? One of my Facebook friends sent that to me. Yeah, she said she saw it and she thought of me immediately. Glam Mamma, that's what my YouTube is. And she sent me this cup. Isn't it awesome? Thank you, Erica. Miss Erica. That was so sweet. I just jumped right out of my skin when I got that package in the mail. I did. Just waiting a second. Hi, Miss Sonia. How are you, sister? Miss Maria. How is everybody? Are you wanting to find out what I got yesterday? Yes. Well, if you saw my live, you know I got a bundle of stuff. So, I said I would do a live today, and I put a message out. Did you want to see... Uh, did you want to see skincare and makeup or just skincare or just makeup and the most comments was just the makeup So we'll do skincare another day. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I know it's a nice cup Cleaning house girl. That's what I need to do Sonia when I get done here. I'm gonna get dressed This is my PJs right here so When I get done, I'm gonna get dressed and I eat a bite and then I'm gonna start purging my cabinets and stuff in the kitchen. Ugh. Hi, Pam. Hey, hey, hey. Just waiting a second, guys. Hello, hello, hello. First thing I'm going to do, I've already done the skincare. First thing I'm going to do is put my primer on. You guys know it is a crime not to prime. This is our VFX Pro Camera, camera Ready Primer. Yeah, and you can tell I've been using it. It is a silicone base, and man, talk about soft, and it doesn't take much. I probably got too much right now on my finger. It's a gel. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Right there. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good, too. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, the other day, I was, uh, what was I doing? I was... Oh, it was 5 in the morning, for crying out loud. I was late for work. I forgot to put my primer on. You know that bugged me all day long. <laughs> I'm a little OCD about some stuff. Yeah, that drove me crazy. I kept looking at my makeup all day long in the bathroom. Thinking, ooh, ooh. Ugh. Primer. You know, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Miss Pam, sister. How are you? Pam just joined my group the other day. Yes. My team. She's a team sister. And speaking of teams, I'm on the best team in the world, aren't we, Sonia? Sonia's not on my team, but we are on the same team. Probably the biggest one in Texas, aren't we, Sonia? I don't know. Yeah. Texas. I mean, USA. I'm from Texas. What am I saying? Yeah. USA. Sharon, hey, 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 just did my primer, all right, okay, so I just did my primer, so I have got brand spanking new, look here, Sonia, have you tried this, 
This is the Pata, P-A-T-A, -A, Cream Foundation, and I made a mess with it when I was opening it up. Dug my finger in it, but look, and it's going to be so creamy, and I said last night, I put a little touch right here on my face, and I swear, what kind of lashes do I use? Girl, I've got some magnetic lashes. Today, I'm going to use these lashes. I'm going to use this, just these, they're called Gold Glam Salon Perfect, and they're these little separated things. See that? I like to use the separated lashes because you can actually see your, uh, if you have hooded eyes, you can actually see your shadow. Couldn't think of the word, shadow. So, here we go. Yes, how the cream foundation works. Yeah. Well, today I'm, I think I'm going to use a sponge, but you know, everybody uses a, a damp sponge. I think I'm going to use just a dry sponge. Uh, you could put like rose water on your sponge. You could put, you know, setting spray on your sponge, whatever. But I don't know. It seems like if it's wet, wouldn't it absorb more of your product? Yeah. I think I'm going to put it on with my finger, but blend it out with my, uh, sponge. Speaking of sponges, I got a brand new sponge coming and I hear pharmacy sponge is soft and squishy. This is these, uh, oh shoot, I can't think of the name of them. You recognize these sponges? They're the microfiber, microfiber. And I don't know, they're, they're soft, but they're not soft. They're soft, but they're not soft. Does that make sense? Hello everybody. Okay, so let's get started. Now you can do one of two things. You can put your color corrector before and your and your uh, concealer and stuff before your foundation. Or you can do it after. I'm going to do mine after, I think. So let's get started. And I know I'm going to do something here because I don't want to waste nothing. You see what I got? I made a mess. Be careful when you're opening up. I made a mess last night when I opened up my foundation. So... I am just not going to waste nothing, okay? No, I'm not going to waste nothing. I'm just going to use my fingers to put it on just like that. This is that Pata, P-A-T-A. -A. I need to look that up. What does Pata mean? I need to find out, right? At this point, I don't even care because if it comes from pharmacy, it is 100% okay with me. So far. So far, so good. So far, so wonderful. I tried to turn my uh, notifications off, but then it turned a bunch of sound stuff off, and I'm not all that good at figuring that stuff out. So, here we go. Let me stay focused. This is the Pate Cream. <clears throat> now, I'll show you the good news. Hang on. Let me show you the good news. I don't want to waste nothing. Pate cream. Got my new catalogs yesterday, too. You sh you, I bet you saw those. Here, let me go. I got some other stuff coming, too, guys. <sighs> Here we go. The pot. You're not going to believe this, but it retails for $12.90, that cream foundation. Retails for twelve ninety, but I didn't pay twelve ninety. No, I paid half of that because I'm an influencer. Yeah, all you gotta do is join for nineteen ninety nine, and you can get it for half price too. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. I'm just too excited here. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this little sponge, and it's dry, so I'm gonna use a dry sponge because I want to. And. This is, I'm not going to put a lot on my eyes because I'm going to use other stuff on my eyes. This is so soft. It, it actually feels like I have primer already. Well, I do have primer already on, but I mean, it feels like it has primer in it or something, which I don't think it does. But first time I've used it. First time I've used it. You could just use your fingers, you know, look at here. Look here, you don't even use any you don't even need anything. I don't usually use my fingers. But okay. 
Yeah, I saved my eyes for the other stuff. The eye primer, uh, of course the shadows, all that stuff. I got another video I'm going to come up with, guys. I'm not going to do it on this video, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Hang on. A sneak peek. Wait till you see this. I got this. I have to stay away from all these cotton picking ads on uh, Facebook and Instagram. But I got something new yesterday, too. And I'm going to show you this at another time. This is not a pharmacy product. But I'm going to give you a little peek. Just a peek. Just a peek. Another no, another whole new ball game here. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. I just had to have this thing, though. As if I don't have enough already. Oh, golly. And Sharon, don't you say a word. <laughs> don't you say a word. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get this on. That's what you came to see. I just get too excited about stuff. Okay, this is very creamy. Oh, look, my brown spot's covered up. So that means it is a great coverage. The, they claim the fullest, the most full coverage is their F or VFX camera ready foundation and I got that coming in another order so this though if it covers up my brown spot then I consider it good coverage because not all of it not all foundations cover that little spot I just got the one all right we're gonna come down uh, I don't usually come down on my neck or my ears but my upline is really big on that she says you need to come down and blend it all in so there you go Christina I blended it Looky, looky, looky. Doesn't feel like I have a thing on. Feels very, very light. Very, very creamy. And I wish we had fill a vision because it, I know the other day I put some of this, I mean the other day, yesterday I put a dot on and it felt like I didn't have primer on at the time and it felt like I had primer on. So I made a mess of mine though. So be careful when you get it. Yeah. That's the pata. Pata. Does anybody know what pata means? I don't. Desiree, yes. <laughs> Glitter, that's right. Glitter. Hi, Eden. <laughs> yeah, Christina. Uh, yeah, I watch her. I listen. I try to do my best. I try to listen to her because she's the pro. And by the way, guys, she's my upline, so if you join my team, you're going to be on her team. You can't get better than her. Okay, now let's get back. We're going to do... Oh, what was I saying a while ago? I think I need to stay away from the coffee. Uh, I was saying, if you're new here, know that I'm blind as a bat and I can't see a thing. Like right now, all of this is blurry. But I put my glasses on back and forth, back and forth, put my glasses on, and see what you're com see what you're commenting right yeah I'm just too excited right now this is the full coverage liquid concealer but it's in the color bisque and it's almost the same color as the color corrector that I always like to use see here yeah and so I've been using this one as my uh wait a minute oh, I'm always dropping something using this one as my color corrector. So let's see how it works, okay? Here we go. We are gonna see how it works. I just have a little tiny dark area. We'll just do one side for right now and I'll show you. I'm gonna use my weak finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap it. Because think about it, if you're using, if you blend it, you're gonna blend it out, right? I want it to go in And then I'm going to use the, the, I think, soft beige, soft beige concealer on top. It's right there. See that right there? Look at your color wheel. 
it, it all depends on what color you're trying to cover up. So you'd look at your color wheel and go the opposite direction. See that? I see it. It's subtle, but I see it. Hello, Miss Eden. Hello, Princess. Long time no see. How's your little girl? Hi, Tony. How are you feeling, girl? How are you feeling? Hi, Allison. Anita. Hey, girl. Come to see my new stuff. Kelly, hi. Trying to say hi to everybody. Erica. All right. <clears throat> see, I can see a little difference. See there? Yeah. You don't want to do too much, though, because I'm telling you, when you get my age, this eye tissue right here changes on you. Yeah, it's not at all feels like this. It's more fragile, and so you have to be really careful. I have more of a dark area on this left eye than I do my right eye. Anyway, that was the Liquid Bisque Concealer. I tell you something else that's really good on uh, concealing is the CC cream. That CC cream, the other day I used the CC cream, just the CC cream, forgot to do my color correcting stuff, and it didn't look bad at all. This is liquid, so I'm going to kind of let it dry for a second. Let me fan me, okay? Fan me. We are supposed to be getting some rain this weekend. I hope it don't rain. I think we're going to have hurricane weather again. Okie Oh, yeah. How old is she now? Hi, Mariah. Did you see that cute little girl that I posted uh, on one? I, I'm in about 40 or 50 different makeup groups. One day I get this message and it was this little girl. She, Her teeth were all missing right here. Curly, just curly hair. She was the cutest little thing. And I got a video message from her. And she must have been watching with her mama on one of my videos. And she went, hi, your makeup is so pretty. Hi. And smiled real big with no teeth. <laughs> she was so cute. I posted it. I asked the mom if I could. All right. If you see what I'm doing right here, pharmacy puts this little sticker thing on here. It can be a nuisance, but when you think about why they do it, it's to ensure the sanitary, to let us know that no one has touched this since they messed with it. So, and it can be a nuisance, but when you think about why they do it, it's okay. And it can get sticky, but they say vinegar takes it off, but if you're real, real, real careful, you can get it off. See there? I wasn't all that successful with all of them. So, this one is, let me see what color. I think it's, I want to say soft beige. The print's so little, I can't even see with my glasses. Pure beige, number 04. Pure beige is what this one is. Yeah. Where's my music? Oh, I don't play music, but wait a minute. I don't own the rights to anything. <laughs> what? I'm already, they keep wanting me to be, go premium. I'm already premium. Oh, well. Ugh, this hair. Okay. I'm getting ready early because I'm having a plumber come to work on my shower. So I've got to get myself put together. All right, here is the pure beige, and I'm just going to go over what I just did. I don't always do this. Sometimes I just plain use powder. You know, sometimes I don't even do foundation. But for you, I will. All right. Now we're going to let that kind of get with it. And I'm going to blend that too. All And I'm going to order a lighter color, too. I'm just going to use the excess off my finger there. You know, the older you get, the more you see changes. And what I was going to say a while ago, you have to be careful when you get older because this tissue is so different than this tissue. You have to be careful what you put right here. You don't want to overload it. Yeah. 
There we go. You see the difference? I can see the difference. I can always see the difference. So now I'm going to use my pharmacy transparent, translucent, whatever you want to call it, powder. If I can get it open. It comes with its own little pad, but usually I don't use a pad. Usually I will use a brush. And let's see what we can use here. I got some brushes coming, so I'll share those with you. Just use a little. I don't use a whole lot because you really, with some cosmetics, you don't have to use a lot. And if you like the dewy look, you don't have to use any at all, right? That's all I'm going to do with that. Translucent, transparent, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to do, I think I should do highlighter first. Where is it? I have a I have a, a rose colored one coming but right now this is the gold let me see if you have any questions hello everybody Ernestine hi I haven't seen you in a while Avery hi Tina hi hello everybody Allison oh dear Allison Victoria this video or this live is all about pharmacy cosmetics most wonderful pl uh, cosmetic company in the world it's unbelievable this is true excitement you're getting out of this old lady here prices are so phenomenal it it costs 19.99 to join and then you get 50 percent off for crying out loud no fees no you know yeah free website tony you take care of yourself girl Ernestine, how's my girl doing? I'm going to do a little bit of this. Look, 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 look. You could probably even put this on your eyes and probably even on your lips, right? I hadn't thought about that. So I'm just going to do right here, right on my bone right here, and then kind of up a little bit. But I want to keep it off of my any fine lines and wrinkles. So if you have fine lines and wrinkles, think about that. Try not to put too much on them. So we're just going to go on the cheekbone. I want you to look at this, man. I'm I'm pretty good. I don't have too many too many uh wrinkles there. Can you see? I'm not gonna go overboard. You know, some some people go overboard. I don't usually go overboard with this. See? Isn't that cool? And I've got a rose colored coming. This one is the gold. So we'll just use our finger. It's my face, so you know. My finger is sanitary for me. If you're working on a client, you wouldn't want to do this, of course. See, I just made it subtle. Just made it subtle. I'm so glad I'm off right now. Oh, Lordy mercy. I'm working day shift now. And, ooh, 5 o'clock in the morning, man. That is early. Early. Thought I, heard, I got all the dogs put away. I hope they remain quiet. Mmm. Okay, let's do some cheeks. And we're going to use, I want to say, I can't remember what color this is. Soft peach or something like, oh no, that's my eyeshadow. They have mono eyeshadows. I got the wrong thing out. Pooey. Hang on. Hang on, let me get it. They're all in the same little container, so you have to pay attention. <laughs> Today, I've got, I got a new trio. I'm going to do a smoky look on the eye. Grandmas can do smoky looks. You know, when you get to be a grandma, shoot, you get to do anything you want to, right? Why not? See, isn't that pretty? That came in my kit. Yeah. So let's give me some rosy cheeks there. Not going to do my apples. Don't want to do my apples because that's down here and I don't want you to notice so much of this right here. I've got some awesome uh, bronzer stuff coming and stuff. So that's what I'll use right here when I get it. I do have some other stuff here, but this is for pharmacy today, right? You know, and use, use what you like. I mean, if you like another product and in addition to, 
go for it, right? There's other things out there, but I guarantee you nothing's as good as pharmacy or as reasonable as pharmacy. And pharmacy owns everything, so there's no middleman. That's that's the big reason why they're so reasonable. Did I smooth that out good enough? Okay. All right. Let me see what you're saying. Getting ready to do the fun part. The eyes. The eyes are always the fun part. Hi, Vicky. Anna Carolina. Oh, that's a romantic name. Anna Carolina. I like that. Teresa, Avery, Dove Love, Love Dove Love, Joanne, hi. Hi, everybody. I like to recognize everybody. I know that might aggravate you when I'm trying to do makeup, but when I'm on somebody's live and they mention my name, it just does something to you. It just kind of like, oh, I'm special. Yeah. And I feel bad when I miss somebody. Yeah. Okay. Fun part. The fun part. We're going to do the eyes now. And looky here, looky here, looky here. Hang on. Let me get me another brush. Okay. I'm getting close to having to have a another haircut. Because my hair won't stay in place. Let me put my eye primer on before I forget. And by the way, and I'm not just saying this because I sell it. I'm saying this because I love it. I don't know if you've ever watched me before, but you know that I complain about eye primer, but I believe in eye primer, right? But I've always complained that I couldn't really find one that I really, truly loved. Well, I found one. This is Pharmacy's Cream. You know, most primers are like liquid or something, and I don't know. I never really had too much luck with them. So, but this is a cream, and I really do like the cream. And I am learning how to use cream shadows. You know, I'm a powder shadow girl. I still love them. They're still my favorite, but I'm learning how to do creams. Pharmacy has a line of long-lasting creams. And you know how creams sometimes can cake up and they, like, oxidize, they call it, and all that. This one does not do that. But let me tell you about them. They are very, very, very long-lasting. So you better have it where you want it right from the start because it's not going to move. It's not going to go nowhere. No. Once you get it on, you've got just about enough time to get it, you know, blended and like you like it. But after that, boy, you better have it where you want it because <laughs> it don't go nowhere. All right. I am looking for, I've got a cool eyebrow pencil. I just had it too. You guys. You're probably used to me right by now. What do I do with my eyebrow pencil? I'm going to be so mad if I put it somewhere. It's supposed to be right here. I had everything out. I ought to spend my day cleaning up my makeup tables, what I ought to do instead of my kitchen. But where is it? I'm going to be so mad if I've misplaced my eyebrow. Maybe I dropped it. Nope. Are you kidding me? That's my lip pencil. That's not my eyebrow pencil. It's my lip liner. Liner, liner. Liner. I'm going to be mad. I had it out for you because I was going to show you. Oh, for crying out loud, it's in my hand. <laughs> it's in my hand. Oh. oh, okay, look at this eyebrow pencil. It is like, is there such a thing as having eyebrow pomade or whatever they call that in a pencil form? Because watch how smooth this will go on. Watch. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. Let's, I don't want to do a whole bunch. Oh, and another thing. You can sharpen these, which if you think about it, a lot of people like the roll-up, twist-up. But if you sharpen, it's going to be more sanitary, right? Yeah, so I am, this is just going on so smooth. I don't normally do a whole bunch to my eyebrows. I like to have a little shape and uh, a little more color than what I naturally have. 
But I'm going to show you another product that I'm going to use that I have used all by itself before. And I know all you pros out there have already heard of it, but it's kind of new for me. And it's called Brow Mascara. Use your spoolie to blend in your products. And by the way, if you're new to pharmacy and you don't know what pharmacy is, they're from Turkey. They've been around for like 69 years. They're not a new company. They are family owned, so they're very, very secure. They have plenty of money. They're in 125 different countries. They just came to the U.S. I don't know why they took so long to get here, but they came to the U.S. about five months ago, and this place, it, it is on fire. And I know good and well they're thinking over there in Turkey, good Lord, we had no idea what we were doing when we got those U.S. girls in this company. Because I guarantee you, they're working days and nights. They're just working their little fingers to the bone. Here is the brow mascara. Now, this is, I've used this all by itself before. It does great. It just, I know there's brow tints and stuff. But I thought it was cool that they called it Brow Mascara. <laughs> it's probably the same thing. I don't know. But see, it gives a little more color. A little shape. Good enough to use alone. Yeah. I'll look at your comments in just a second, guys. You know I can't see a thing. All right. Let's do this. is the problem side. And I know everybody has a problem side. This is my problem side. We all have brows that are shaped different. They're not, what's that saying? They're not twins or sisters or whatever. Well, mine don't have the same DNA or something. I don't know. They're so different. And it, plus it being, I'm right-handed, so this is my left side. So it's awkward, too, the way I have to hold stuff, I've noticed. Different than my right side. And usually if I'm going to mess up, it's going to be over here. All right, that was the brow pencil. I love it, I love it, I love it. I use all kinds of stuff on my brows. They've got the brow wax, they've got the brow pomades, they've got brow pencils. I mean, whatever you like, they've got. And over there, they've got like 2,000 products. It's not just cosmetics. I tried the tea tree oil uh, toothpaste this morning. It was wonderful. You know, tea tree is supposed to be like a, what, and a, not antibiotic. What am I trying to say? Good for you. Yeah. I'll look at your comments in just a second. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Teresa. Is that you? I see the name Teresa. Hi, sister. Hey, guys. You see Sharon on here. Sharon's fixing to join our team. Teresa, she's on, uh, Teresa's on my team already. So is Cha-Cha. So we got some sisters on here. Yes, now. Uh, make sure that's kind of dry. I don't want to smear it. Okay. See? Some color, and this was also in the color dark brown. I don't think they have a black, but they got the dark brown, and that's dark enough. With my eye, with my hair turning gray, I have found that I can use black on my brows. I can use uh, charcoal gray on my brows. I can use brown on my brows. Whatever you know, my hair used to be that color many years ago, <laughs> many moons ago. Mm. All right, we're about ready to start my smoky eye, but let me see if there's any comments. Hello, Gabriella, Marissa. I've got some pretty names on here. Good morning, Elizabeth. Melanie, hi. Teresa, welcome. Angela, hi, hi, hi. April, hi. Julie, hello, hello, everybody. Shanna, hi. Ashley, hi. Cindy, wonder where my Cindy is. My other Cindy. Oh, boy. How do you pronounce 
N-J-O-K-I. Is the J silent? Noki? Would it be Noki? Whatever it is, that is cool. Hi, Crystal. Teresa, Michelle, Nancy. Hi, everybody. Okay, I think I got everybody. There's another pretty name. A Lord. Elord. Elorde. I'm terrible with names. Beautiful names. All right. My eyes are watering. Because, you say, why are your eyes watering? It's not my makeup. I guarantee it's not my makeup. It is allergies. I have allergies like you would not believe. I live in East Texas. We are famous for allergies. <clears throat> in the 70s, I used to work at an allergy clinic. I'm telling you, I used to make, we used to make like a, uh, about 300 allergy vaccines a day. Yeah, I used to make vaccines. Here's my new Trio palette. Look at that. We're going to do Smoky Eye with this. And let me tell you how much this little thing is. This catalog is beautiful. There's, it's not a cheap catalog. It is beautiful. Heavy duty, heavy duty paper. Full of gorgeous stuff. More coming. Every time I open up my back office, they've added something. All right, what am I looking for? My shadow. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to use my new lip gloss today, my new Shine lip gloss. It is beautimous. What was I looking for? <laughs> I got I got so side. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is my Trio eyeshadow kit, and I got the Ultimate Smoky one. There's four different ones, Vintage Season, Sunset Kiss, Vice Brown. They're $19.90 retail, but guess what? I didn't pay $19.90. I paid 50% of that. Look at that. They have individual shadows. They've got cream shadows, like I was saying a while ago. But we're going to do this one today. Okay, and I was real excited about, if you watch me at all, you know I had my favorite eyebrow highlighter. And I got it as a sample. Well, I used it all and didn't contact the lady to tell her I wanted some more. And then I lost it. And then I can't find her now. So this, I think, is going to work just as well. So what I'm going to do first. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Lindsay. What I'm going to do first is cover my whole eye with this. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, wish I didn't have to wear glasses. But no contacts. I have uh, astigmatism. And besides that, I'd be too scared to wear contacts. So, let's just cover up the eye all over. It's kind of like painting a canvas. You know, if you're an artist, you, you prep your canvas, right? So, I always like to prep my eye. Always, always, always. If you're thinking about... Let me, t let me give you a little hint. If you're thinking about joining or you want to be a customer or whatever, go ahead and just join for the $19.99 so you can get that 50% discount. You know, if you don't like it, which I can't imagine anybody not being totally 100% happy, but you really haven't lost anything because you're, there's a jillion products and you've got to find stuff in there that you would like and you'd get it 50% off. Because let me tell you, we have killed their websites. <laughs> I can only imagine what these little people in the, in the warehouses are doing right now. We, oh, and we have a warehouse in Florida too. But over in Turkey, I just can only imagine what they're going through right now. Oh my gosh. Lots of people are probably getting a lot of overtime. So they're probably liking us, ladies. Um, but I would go ahead and just join as an entrepreneur because if you join as a customer and then change your mind and want to join as an entrepreneur, corporate has to change all that over. So unless you have two emails and two phone numbers, I would suggest don't join as a customer. Yeah, because you don't get 50% off if you join as a customer anyway. But, you know, do your own thing. All right, so that was just the white. So now I'm going to use this silver color right here on the eyelid. And I'm going from light to dark. So I'm using the same brush. So we're just going to do the silver on the eyelid. Just the eyelid. And you know, you could tap, you could uh, pack this, I mean, 
pack it to make it as bold as you want. You could also dampen your brush to make it bold. Er, but I don't want it to be bold. Er, I'm I'm gonna keep it just like it is. If you want to see something pretty that's that can be bold, that is the Blue Moon Cream Shadow. Oh golly, that's pretty stuff. Uh oh, my dogs are fixing to start stirring around. Great. Shoot. Can you hear that? Don't do it. Oh. What would I do if I didn't drop stuff for crying out loud? <sighs> Alright. That was the silver. Yep. They're up. Oh, brother. <sighs> Alright. So now let's do... Where is it? I got some brushes up. I'm going to do this black. I'm going to give myself some dimension here. I have hooded eyes, so you don't want to, I don't want you to notice so much my hooded eyes. So when I do my eyeshadow, this is the way I do mine. There's lots of other people that do different. But I like to just kind of come up here on my bone and go towards the end of my brow to kind of create an illusion is what I'm trying to do. Might be a little bold using black. I don't know. We'll see. So now I'm using this black right here. And I'm using my brush. It's kind of a, I don't know where I got this brush. Uh, it's an old brush, but it's kind of a, a short bristle, very dense. So that's what I want right now. I want to, I want to have some control over what I'm putting on right now. If you, the, the real fluffy brushes are awesome for uh, getting a bigger surface area. Right now, I kind of want to focus on on my crease as a guideline but then I'm gonna blend it all out make it come out more over here I'll get it out in a minute jeez you know when I get excited about something I get so tongue-tied do y'all can't hardly keep my excitement contained and act like a grown-up <laughs> And if you don't get both eyes just alike, don't worry. So what I'm doing now is just putting my product in place. And man, as you can see, we are very, very pigmented, right? Yeah. So I may have to use the leftover here underneath, right? After all, it is a smoky eye. What do I want to use to blend it out? I don't want a huge... That ought to work. Where did I get these brushes? I don't remember. I'm going to save this one because I'm going to use it again. i got to see up close and personal when I start blending. Blending's the key, guys. Hey, Crystal. Oh, yeah. We don't test on animals, Crystal. Ooh, no. There's some products. and Like I said, I've only been in a couple of weeks, so there's lots I don't know yet. There, I know there are some products that's uh, vegan, some that are not. You know, you just, you know, Hi, Marion. But, yeah. Nothing is tested on animals for sure. That's one of my biggies. I'm trying to remember where I got this brush. That's what I was looking at. Oh, BH Cosmetic Brush. That's what this one is. Dad, come in. Shoot. Oh, okay. Alright. Now, we're just going to kind of wipe my eyes a little bit. I've not perfected how to use tape. I think that is really cool, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just coming around here. I just want to make it look nice and smooth. I don't want any real stark lines, and that's just my personal. And I'm coming towards, coming towards my, um, the end of my brow, bringing this dark up a little bit. I'm trying to see trying to think what kind of liner do I want to use because I have a brand new I got I, that's what I'm going to do I got a waterproof liner I was going to use my gel liner but I'm going to use this waterproof one and I'm just smoothing that out right just smoothing it out bringing it up gently and I'll show you here in a second See there. 
I'm going to touch it up with a little bit of the white too. Show you what I'm going to do with it. Here's my awkward side. So just go easy, Marsha. Don't smear it where you don't want it. I'm barely touching. Barely bringing it up just a little because I don't want any stark lines. I want it to flow. Gonna have to help this one out. I told you this is my problem side. Try not to pull if you're young. Let me tell you, don't be pulling your eyes. Because once you develop those fine lines and wrinkles in your eye area, this is what you have to do. I don't remember pulling my eyes, but I probably did when I was young. That was the thing to do, you know, and some still do it. I'm just kind of holding it is what I'm doing. You can also do this. You can take a sponge bud and just kind of, if you don't want your fingers to touch your face, you can just kind of hold it like that. Yeah. See, now kind of came up on the bone. Yeah, all right. So now, how does that look? Does that look okay? I hope. Where is that dark? Now I'm going to come under and do underneath. I'm just going to take what's left over on this dense brush here. Also, I'm not noticing any fallout with this shadow. It's very pigmented. But, you know, I didn't put like 10 pounds of it on the brush either. But there's some shadows out there that are very, when they're very pigmented, they're also will have a lot of fallout. Again, you could use a damp brush that would help with that. Or you could do this stuff. I don't ever do that. But I, it, I don't do it because I don't think about it. When I use, there's a lot of like, um, what was the name of that company? I don't even think they're in business anymore. Cheryl, what was the name of that company we bought so much eyeshadow from? From that app and it went out of business. I can't think. Yes, Crystal, me too. Oh, they don't believe in testing on animals. No. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so now I think I'm going to get me a clean brush because I like to do this thing right here. I'm going to get some more of that white. You know, I could use my silver eyeliner, couldn't I? Should I use the silver eyeliner? <clears throat> I'm going to touch up my white. While I'm doing that, you tell me if I need to use silver eyeliner along with my black eyeliner. Look at that. If you don't have an arch, <clears throat> one little trick they say is to put highlighter right here where your arch should be. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like so. I've got some gold and I've got some metallic stuff. <coughs> Good grief. Sorry feather in my throat. That highlight that little tear duct area. Let's give me a little bit right here. Right smack dab in the center, right? Not all over it, just in the center. Yeah. I like the look of like that, they can see this the pretty colors and stuff. But I'm just tapping it. And this is from my Trio palette. My smoky eye look. I'm coughing because I got something in my throat. And so now my nose is going to run. Y'all are going to see the real me. <laughs> 
Okay. Did anybody answer? Should I do silver eyeliner? Did anybody say? Hi, Marlene. Hi, Cindy. There's my Cindy. I was asking about you a while ago, girl. Cindy's on my team, too. Hey, Donna. How are you? Aloha. Aloha. Cindy's from Hawaii. Hip dot. Was it hip dot? No, it did start. Was it hip dot? We had an app. For some reason, that's not ringing a bell, hip dot. But I can't remember. It was an app, and you get on it, and you could order from the app, and it was like dirt cheap stuff. But it was good stuff, but it was dirt cheap price wise. Silver, silver. Everybody's saying silver. Okay, we'll do silver. My eyes are watering. Let me get it out. They got every kind of liner in the book. They've got pencil liners. They've got they've got this liquid liner stuff, which, by the way, does not bleed in my tissues, which every liquid liner I've got bleeds. This one doesn't. Gel liners. They've got metallic liners. They've got... Listen, there is... It's a one spot shop or you don't have to go anywhere else yes halt is it hush okay we're gonna do silver liner this is metallic silver liner I'm gonna do silver but I'm gonna bring it up a little bit because I'm gonna maybe I should do the black first and do the silver on top that's what I'll do so we'll use my waterproof, so excited to hear about this, the first time I've used it, waterproof black liner. So I'm going to have to use both hands though. So here we go, I'll do my problem side first. And I usually start, it's like butter. I start with short strokes just to get myself going. Look at that. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about when you get older. Your tissues get in the way. You youngsters have got it made. I have, uh, my favorite thing to do is smudge my eyeliner. Wow. I like to smudge it because again it kind of when you smudge it it hides your mistakes so you may not like to smudge it which is okie dokie I don't think I will do I don't know should I do my tear line or just leave it open like that <sighs> I'm so glad you're here with me today that plumber is not supposed to come till this afternoon, so he better not show up ahead of time. That was like cream. All right, we'll do the other side real quick. Start with short stroke. Well, I think my daughter's home. That means all the dogs are gonna start barking. Okay, you got to get this black liner. And I will be able to tell you just how waterproof it is because my eyes water all the time. With or without allergy medicine makes no difference. I always come, uh, when I do, I don't do, I don't do the wings, not because I don't like them, it's because I don't do them very well. So, and I've just, you know, put it on the shelf and not ever really tried. So, what I usually do is bring, see, I'm watering like nuts. I bring more, uh, more pencil, or liner, I mean, more over here on the outer edge of my eye, and then smudge it. And then I make it thinner on the inside. And boy, I went overboard there. But you know, you can fix almost anything. <laughs> it's 
another good reason to smudge. And I usually bring that liner on up into this area up here, just kind of blend it together. Should I do my tear line or not? I'll wait on that. I'll do the silver right quick, and then you tell me if I should do my tear line. Okay, here comes the silver. Let's see how much the silver is. I don't remember. I think other than my kit, or did I get that in my kit? Maybe I got it in my kit. I don't remember. Good night. I got the big kit, and I got all kinds of stuff. Let's see here. Lipsticks galore. Here we go. They have the glitter and the metallic. This is the Platinum 01 Metallic. It is a liquid liner with sparkling pearls, which give your eyes that metallic look and sparkle. Oh, how much is it? Retail $9.90, so you know I paid 50%. Uh oh, my dog's going to start barking because my daughter's home. So just ignore for a minute. Oh, dear. Here we go. And they, they go on a frenzy. When they get started, they go on a frenzy. All right, here we go. Marcia, don't mess up. So sorry for the extra entertainment. wet so I gotta be careful. Now, man you can get artistic with this stuff huh? You could even put it. Let's go crazy. so fun. See, I, I blinked and it got up here. So let's just fix it. These little sharp Q-tips are cool. There, I got a little much right there. Smooth it out, Marcia. Yeah, and you better do your smoothing while it's wet. Look at that. Now let's see if I can do this eye. I'm going above my liner. I'm going above the black. You could do your whole lid with this, you know. Hear the garbage man. I hear the garbage man. Yes, and it's wet, so I can't look up too good. Okay. I think. Listen, I went berserk when I joined this company. I went berserk. I think I've got four orders. <laughs> I ordered my kit, then I ordered something else, and then two days later I ordered something else, then two days later I ordered something else. I just got one big order yesterday, which is what you're seeing today, and then I got two more coming. So I think I have even ordered two of a couple of things, so I got get through that catalog. I just, ugh. All right, that's the silver. I think I have like a plum one coming and a gold. Okay, let it dry for a second. That was the silver, the platinum, zero one. 
I'm going to go back over, kind of touch up my black liner part. I'm thinking I probably don't need to do my clear line. What do you think? Oh, I thought they were going to calm down. Okay, I think that's probably dark enough, don't you think? Now we're going to do some mascara, some lips. I'll do my lashes. I'm going to put muzzles on my dogs. Not really. Let me see what you're saying. How much was the kit? Tiffany, this is the deal. Since you ask, let me tell you. This is how it works. It's $19.99 to join the company. With that $19.99, you get a free website. There's no yearly fees, no quota. I think if you want to be considered active <clears throat> and you want to get a team building, <clears throat> if you want to, uh, if you want a team and all that good stuff, then I think $125 might be the the quota you'd need to maintain, which. To tell you the truth, I've got enough quota if it was accumulative for the next two years. <laughs> Not really, but almost. But anyway, if you want to just have it to uh, get your 50% discount and maybe sell to your friends or family, give your family 50% off, then all you have to do is do the $19.99. <clears throat> then, if you want to a kit, you got to do it right then, I think. There's two kits to choose from, and they're totally optional. You get a $49 kit, which I think Cha-Cha got hers yesterday or the day before. There was like 12 full-size products in there, plus, you know, catalogs and, and all kinds of stuff. And they have catalogs in Spanish and English, and you get some of both. Um, what else? Uh, the $125 kit, though, which is, of course, the one I got, it includes that $49 uh, kit, plus you get all this extra stuff. I mean, I got full-size jars of calendula balsam. I got tea tree oil stuff. I got face creams. I got mask. I got, oh, golly. If you want to know, I can send you a graphic of what comes in the kits. Yeah, but if you're going to get the big kit, you better do it when you join because I don't think... If you join and don't get the big kit, I don't think you can come back later and get the big kit. So if you join, get the big kit right then. Yeah. And then the $49 kit is a good kit too, you know. But it's mandatory that you do the, the required that you do the $19.99. Yeah. But you don't have to do anything. You know, you can just, you know, later on order your own products if you want. Yeah. I think I need some more cheeks. I wiped them off. Okay, does that answer your question? You got the big one, didn't you? I did too. Woo. And you just got your kit, didn't you, Cindy? Didn't you just get it? Yeah. Tiffany, do me a favor and message me so I don't forget because I got 50,000 things going on. I will send you those graphics. Yeah. And as, as far as the graphics go, they, they tell you, you know, if they happen to be out of stock, they will replace whatever they're out of stock with, with one that's just as equal, you know, in value and all that good stuff. Cindy, what did you think of your kit? She just got her big kit yesterday. Okay. Is Pam here, I wonder? Pam, are you here? I don't know if Pam is here. Pam was asking me about the mascara. Okay. <laughs> There's about six or seven different mascaras, right? Something for everybody. Oh, dear. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I'm so sorry. Hello, everybody. Okay, I have three of the mascaras. Listen to that. No. Ugh. Shut up. Okay, I have three of the mascaras. I've got the Extreme Curl. I can't remember now. I got, I think I got two mascaras in my kit. They, I think, I know this 3D effect came in my kit. Then I've got this, I ordered this one, Star Look. It's the most expensive. It's Black and Full Lashes Mascara. And I think I'm going to use the Star Look today because I want to show you the brush. I'll show you the brush on all of it. This is the 3D. It's fiber effect. 
<clears throat> doesn't have fibers in it, I don't think, but it, it's got a big fat brush and it goes on beautiful. All of them are very buildable. Here is the Extreme Curl. Check this out. Curly brush. It's cool too. And I don't know which one I like the best. I love this brush because I like this brush because it's very easy to apply the on the lower lashes. See this brush? So yeah, something I'm gonna use this one today. Oh shit, Sus. <laughs> high maintenance dogs, girl. High maintenance. Uh, Chewy is half Shih Tzu and half Bichon. Yeah. Alright. So we'll do a little mascara. Then we'll do some lips. And then if you want to, I'll do the lashes on camera. If you want to. I have a tendency to run my mouth. As you can see. Talk, 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 talk. Alright. This is the... Oh, I was going to show you. I was going to tell you how much the Star Look. The Star Look Mascara is the most expensive one we have. Let me show it to you. I'll tell you about it. Here we go. Getting close. Getting close. Oh, here's Extreme Curl is retail $12.90. And then here's another one called Deep Black. I don't have that one. It's another mascara they have. Volume and Length and Extra Black. It's $12.90 retail. Uh, and the 3D, which came in my kit, is $10.90 retail and then this they've got a I don't have this one either they've got a optimal style which is volume and long lash and plus curve mascara see and then star look oh and they got a zen mascara zen it's zen what does it do extension lash mascara lash by lash Separation and definition and extension and length and volume. I think I'll get that one next. It's called Zen. And then here's the star look. The Zen is, oh my gosh, retail $690? What? I wonder if that's a mistake. $6.90 retail? What? How can that be? Expert silicon brush allows full definition and extension and impressive length to eyelashes. Nourishes eyelashes with its vitamin E content. How can it just be $6.90? That means it would only cost me like $3 and something. Whoa. Okay, Star Look. Star Look is retail $17.90, which I did not pay $17.90. And let's see what it is. It's extra volume and fullness, creates thick and full lashes, special pine shaped brush, gives extension from. The bottom to the shortest lashes helps nourish your lashes with the vitamin E content. Get fuller lashes, bolder impact at one stroke. So let's just see how it works. <laughs> yeah, mine are inside dogs too, girl. They are inside dogs. They are rotten down to the core. Uh, does anybody have any tricks about how you get a dog to eat food? Bella is addicted to treats because somebody in this family gives in all the time and gives her treats all the time. Okay, let's do the volume. Star, look, I don't want this mirror. Okay, now I'm going to go back and forth. You know how they do. They tell you to go back and forth. Supposedly, when you go back and forth, that gives you the thickness that you want at the base. And you could actually not even wear false eyelashes, but there is something really glammy looking about false eyelashes that I like. Because I've only been doing them for, gosh, about a year maybe. I'm experimenting now with the Magnetic Lash Liner. Uh, I've got some little tr bugs i got to work out before I start blabbing about it so much, but... A great concept. Oh, look at there. See, I get it everywhere. I get it everywhere. Hang on. See there? Oh, Lord. Whoa. 
get off. I have to touch that up. I am so messy when it comes to mascara. I'll get my shadow and touch it up. I think I got it. Okay, let's do the other one. Did you want to see me do lashes or just stop it after I do? Um, lips. Boy. Don't take much. Woo. And this, all of the mascaras are very buildable. So I'm just, if I do lashes, I'm just going to settle for this one coat. The only reason I would do mascara and do lashes is to give those lashes a little more stability to sit on. Cooked, oh, yeah, I've tried all that homemade stuff. You don't like to use mascara, Cindy? You know, everybody's, everybody's got their thing. I love mascara. I love mascara. All right, now, I am going to scrape this because I'm getting ready to do the bottom lashes. Usually, I don't insert this uh, wand. I do my upper lashes and then, oh shoot, and then I go along and use what's left on the brush to do the bottom lashes, right? Whoa. I gotta, let me be quiet for a second. <laughs> oh shoot. I'm liable to say a dirty word. This makes me actually see my bottom lashes. I inserted the wand again. I love the skinny end for the lower lashes. Oh shoot. I just get it everywhere. I'll probably get it on my nose before it's over. <sighs> Doo -doo. I'm the smudge queen. All right, I see I need to touch up my corners right there. So let me touch up my corners. I think what I'll do is I'll put my glue on the lashes, then do my lips while the glue is drying. Don't forget to smudge. So fun. Makeup is so fun. I'm like a kid in a toy store. Okay, let me get the glue on the lashes and then we'll do our lips. And like I said, I'm going to use these lashes today. These little big boys have got separations and I like to use lashes that have separations. I was going to turn them off too. I have messed them up before. I better get my glasses on to do this much. Hey, hey, hey. You tear up a treat and put it in the wet food? Yeah, I've done that too. Dang it. I have tried everything. I have even bought... We're talking about my dog that won't eat regular food. I have uh, bought that, you know, that homemade gourmet stuff that gets delivered to your house in dry ice. It's a monthly thing. It's kind of pricey too. I have done two different companies. Do you think she eat that? No. She will actually, even if you give her a treat that she's addicted to certain treats. Um, 
even if you give her a different treat from the one that she wants, she'll do like this. She'll go. So I give her the treat and she'll go. And then she'll go. Just like that. And if I don't give her what she wants, she literally cries. Literally cries. Mighty dog food. Caesar is what I'm giving them right now. And then there's a new one called Bella. That got my attention because her name is Bella. But it's like Caesar. Not quite as expensive as Caesar. Hey, there ain't nothing I hadn't tried, including homemade boiled chicken and rice. And oh, I just made a blob. Okay. And while that's getting tacky, while that's getting tacky, we will do our lips. And guess what I have? Of course. I didn't get it out, but it should be right here. This is a lip nourishment for your lips. You can either put it on before or after. Where would it be? Here it is, right here. Lip conditioner, it's called. Right there. Lip conditioner. And it retails for $9.90, which means I paid half of that. And it is bye-bye dry looking lips. It acts as a primer for those lines on the lips, giving you smoother and more perfect looking lips. Thanks to its transparent structure, you can use it before or after your lip uh application but I'm going to use lip gloss today the shine lip gloss so I'm going to put it on before uh, as it increases the power of your lipstick it improves your makeup by increasing the smoothness of your lip pencil yeah pencil uh, daily care product moistens lips and protects existing moisture so we're gonna put it on first mighty dog and gravy it's a purple box at Walmart Mighty Dog. I have not tried Mighty Dog, Tiffany. Pedigree. I think I've tried Pedigree. There's not a whole lot I haven't tried. I tried, I'd like to be a little healthy, you know, like grain-free and, and all that good stuff. <sighs> Dang. But you know, she kind of has a kidney Her her When you get her tested, her bun, B-U-N, is always kind of high. So I have to be careful because I think all these treats can hurt your kidneys. Ugh. Even though I'm using natural treats, it's still. Primer for your lips, man. Ooh. Mmm. That is creamy primer for your lips. Alright. Don't want my glue to dry. want it to get tacky but not dry. This is the lip gloss I got yesterday and it's called Shine Lip Gloss. And wait till you see it. I'm going to get some more of it too because it is shiny. Let me see. They've got matte lipstick. They've got the High Shine Gloss which is what this is. I got Intense Color Lipstick. They've got matte lipstick. They've got true color lipstick. <sighs> there is something for everybody, guys. It'd be silly not to go check it out. Just go, just type in my website, www.marshaholland.com. I made it easy. In Google search. you got to do it in Google search. Facebook is having an issue with links right now. So if you, you'll get a blank screen if you try to do it from here. So do Google search Marsha 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 Marsha. <laughs> Marsha Marsha Marsha. That's the Brady Bunch for all you youngsters. You've probably never heard of them before. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what was I saying? MarshaHolland.com. I love I love the applicator. Look at that pointy applicator. Alright, here we go. This is the same applicator 
that is on the matte lipsticks and stuff. Look. And so, if you need to line your lips with something, see how it's slanted? So, if you need to line your lips, flip it over, and you can line your lips with a pointy end. Like that. Which I'm not lining my lips because I got it all over. But this is the, the Shine Lip Gloss. So creamy. Does not feel sticky either. That's another thing I don't like about lip gloss. Most of them. Okay, so it's lash time and then I'll be done. Now, I can't use my cotton big and big fat fingers. So, I use a, a little tool and this is my favorite tool. There's all kinds out there, but this one's my favorite. This one, I've had it quite a while. It's from Ardell. It's got big fat, you know, you can get lots of thick lashes in there. And then it's got the little tip here. But another tip you can do is a sandwich toothpick. I use it too. So let's get the lashes on real quick. Let's see. I don't know if you're like me. I have a hard time figuring out which is which. Okay, I think this is the left one. So I put my little tool just kind of in the middle. Use it as a guideline. Lashes are long. Okay. All right. So then I look down into a mirror. Magnified, by the way. And I aim. I put rest my hand on the mirror, and then I aim for the center of my iris. Is what I'm shooting for. Look down, and then aim for that eyeliner. I use the eyeliner as my guideline. Then I give it a wiggle. When I think I've got it in the right place, I just kind of give it a wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Now, little Christina, my upline, she was doing lashes the other day. She can use her finger and she just goes bloop, bloop, and it's on. I have to play with mine a little bit. I've only been doing them for about a year or so, you know, and I have good days. I have bad days still. And it's not going to go on on the corner. Oh, I'll give you another tip. I think I let it get dry. Another little tip I didn't do this time is tight lining. Hang on. Like I was saying, I have good days and bad days with lashes. I have learned to take my little kit with me, just in case. And this one, I'm going to have to put more glue on. This little dude right here. I must have talked too much. See the difference with lashes? I like them. Someone was, uh, I had some red aspen glue one time. This is just kiss glue. It's latex free. I had some aspen lash, red aspen lash glue one time. It was sent to me and I liked it. Used it all up. It kind of has a blue tint to it. you go and you can also after you get your lash on if you mess up a little bit you can always go over with uh, some more liner to kind of even it up you know but tight lining oops yeah tight lining kind of covers up that flesh color that might poke through I don't always tight line See the difference? Lashes just kind of give you more of a glam look, even though the mascara is awesome by itself, right? 
They say you only have to wait about 30 seconds on the glue. All right, go in for the landing, girl. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, I can tell that is wet. They say you don't want it wet, that you want it to be tacky. Well, this is wet. <laughs> Let me show you how to use a sandwich stick. Right in the corners. like that like I said I'm experimenting with the magnetic liner it's another whole ball game <clears throat> the magnetic liner with this you gotta mess with, with magnetic liner you gotta have your little technique down with the magnetic liner but I'll let you know as soon as I get it mastered I am done thank you pharmacy for my face what do you think about this what do you think about the foundation? That's really what everybody wanted to see is the foundation. This is the Pata foundation. I've got other foundations coming. And of course we will do them all. And I made a real big mess with my Pata. It's the cream, but it has like a powdery. Let me get that out of there. I made such a mess with it. Shoot. Okay. It's going to show it to you again. <laughs> Slobby girl. Pata. Pata. I like it too. It's very soft. Very soft. Anybody have any questions about anything? Now's the time. But I will always answer your questions. If you get back to me, if I don't answer you here on the live, I will get back to you. Hi, Becky. Hi, Sharon. Cindy. Yep. I like it. I wish we had fill vision I say this every time. It's so soft. Yeah. The the foundation itself feels like primer feels. Yeah. I'm done. Hi, Shirley. Kelsey. Hi. Hi, Mariah. Pure Balance Chicken. They have beef canned about $8 for six pack. So Mighty Dog and Pure Balance, I will test those out. You have a mini Yorkie? Is that as small as a teacup Yorkie? A mini Yorkie? I've never heard of mini Yorkie. Sharon, we will get to the issue. I haven't, now you know, I, you want me to do my live first and then I'll contact somebody and see what we can do about, about getting you in, girl. My favorite lipstick right now in pharmacy or just in general because I am playing yeah pure balance I've seen it there Sharon uh, I am playing right now with all kinds of lip colors I have uh, I got some PR stuff from a company called um, Gerard cosmetics which is gorgeous as far as pharmacy goes oh wait I did get a lipstick. Let me show you. I was scared to get the um, I was scared to get the bold colors because I'm not a bold color. This is about as bold as I get this right here. But this is this is called Dusty Rose and this is called Dusty Rose, but they look different. This is the intense color one. But you know, it's kind of hard to tell from pictures, right? But this is the Dusty Rose too, see? And it's kind of a pinky nude, which I will like. See? Yeah, it's pretty. So, as far as pharmacy lip colors go, I don't have hardly any. I've got one uh, liquid. Where is it? I've got one liquid matte. And it came in my kit. And it's lovely. It's like... Hang on. And it stays on. Woo! The, the trick I've learned about uh, liquid mattes, this liquid matte came in my 
kit. It's the number 03. The thing I've learned about liquid mats is don't over cake it. Put thin coats on and it does great. Lasts a long, 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 long time too. That's the 03 right there. Yeah. Dusty Rose Intense Color Lipstick. This is 03 Matte Liquid Matte. That came in my kit too. Yeah. So, I have a whole collection of lip colors and lipsticks and metal mattes and this and that. This is from Gerard Cosmetics. What is this? This is called Vintage Rose. Now, if you want a Gerard Cosmetics code, I do have a code. It's the Vintage Rose. Yeah, I guarantee you. And this one's called Rodeo Drive. These are these are Gerard Cosmetics, and the girl that owns that company, she is an absolute doll. She is so sweet. Rodeo Drive. <laughs> you see, I tend to stick with these colors. That's my favorites. They're very similar too. I don't know why I did that. She had a special going three for twenty. Rodeo Drive. One more. This one is called 1995. I don't know what that means. That's got to have some kind of significance, though. 1995. See? It's almost the same. <laughs> Marsha. Very little difference in those three. See there? 1995. <laughs> I don't know, you can't, take, you can't teach an old dog new tricks or however that goes. If you want the code for those lip colors, I will message me and I'll get them to you. But I think I've gone on now, what? I know it's been over an hour. I know it's been over an hour. Hi, Rita. Hi, Shanletta. Kelsey. Hi, everybody. Ashley, there's a million lip colors out there, isn't there? I mean, a million. Today's live, though, was specifically for my pharmacy if you don't know what i'm talking about it's this right here you won't ever want to use anything else and you won't need to use anything else because i got something for everybody we didn't even touch skincare today that'll be another whole thing so pharmacy pata foundation cheeks or the i think the light peach color i use my uh translucent powder photo ready you know no flashback or whatever you call that stuff and then the eyes were the eye pencil, which I said was as smooth and creamy like the pomade, only it's in pencil form. And then I used brow mascara in dark brown. Then my eyeliner, the eyeshadow I mean, was my Trio Smoky Eyeshadow. And then the eyeliner was a waterproof eyeliner that I got yesterday. Here's my little palette, Smoky. There's three or four different kinds of those. The mascara was the Star Look Mascara. It has this beautiful brush, which I love that brush. And then, of course, the lashes are just from, they're not pharmacy lashes. They're from Salon Perfect called Gold Glam. These lashes are here. Gold Glam. Yeah. What else? Eyeliner. I told you about, oh. The silver is the Platinum 01, the silver eyeliner. I got some gold coming. And I another live, I'm going to show you this. Wait till you see this little pretty thing. I'm going to give you a teaser. It is called the Song of, the Song of Sirens. Ooh. This stuff is cruelty-free, 100% vegan. This is. But look at this. Another whole live, though. Not today. Isn't that pretty? I particularly like that color too. And I like that one there. Oh wow. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh. <laughs> okay, anybody got any questions? I have kept you long enough. I know. I gotta get dressed. I got a plumber coming. Gotta go eat me a bite. 
All right. Anybody have any questions? Last chance. Share, share, share my video. Like my video. Get me out there. If you know anyone that is thinking they're too old to wear makeup, shoot them my direction. I'll get on my soapbox. Yeah. Nowhere on these cosmetics does it say, oh, I'm sorry, you're too old, you can't wear makeup. I'm sorry. It's for the young only. Nowhere do I see that. I really get stirred up about that. See those lashes? Look, this is what I like about the lashes. When you open your eyes up, look. <laughs> see those spaces? I like them. Uh, the palette is pretty. But that's going to be another live. You'll have to stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm going to get off of here. I said that 30 minutes ago, didn't I? I love you so much. Thank you for coming and visiting. Sharon, I'll get right on uh, getting our problem fixed, okay? Alright, I love you guys. Message me if I missed you here, okay? I love you. Bye.